Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode, we're continuing to explore around uh, this uh, northern era, area of Rivington. Worms Crossing. South span of Worms Crossing. Um, and we've been kind of poking around uh, Charesse's caress. Um, we kind of found an unconventional way in to the brothel uh, where we met um, Raphael and Voss. Voss trying to make a deal with Raphael, but Raphael wasn't having it because Voss doesn't have what he wants. We do. And so we have been offered a deal where Raphael gives us the means to free Orpheus from the Astral Prism. In exchange, we give him the Netherese crown, which is dominating the Elder Brain. This seems like a terrible idea. So we have um, declined for now. We'll see what other options we have. So we're going to continue poking around here. Looks like we have some other things. We need to report... Um, about the temple murders. We need to speak to Voss. Tell him we know where it is. Alright. Let's actually go down into the, the main lobby of Charesse's Caress and uh, see what's going on in here. I won't be able to uh, partake of some of the uh, services here because, you know, YouTube. But, you know, that's fine. Valeria, let's talk to you first. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. Hmm. Afraid so. I have found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Well, the murder weapon, for one. I found the murder weapon you missed in a tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? Hmm. I assume for the same reason as all the other people on the target list that we found to gain Baal's favor. Really? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? It's not a theory. I have proof. This document contains information contain connecting the murders to the Ballist resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Well? What are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! And you're not gonna lift a wing to help i guess all right voss you're not gonna be happy with me tell me you took the devil's deal 
Tell me you will free Gith's heir. No. I will find another way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. And yet it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Orpheus sends a tadpole before and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name, but he will see reason. I promise you. Any idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic Hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. He must keep the Orphic Hammer there. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the hells. You must find it. All right. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. You would say that. Paid Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about it. Ah, uh, Carilla. Damn, Hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Oi! You must have slipped by me earlier. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. I kind of did, actually, yes. You better get used to disappointment. I'm not making any deal with him. You won't come out of this alive without him. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. Um, yeah, that's my response. Listen. Because I'll only say this once. This fight isn't just about Baldur's Gate, or the Sword Coast, or even Faerun. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns, and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. All right. Then why make demands of me instead of just helping? He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. <laughs> hmm. I'll start the brain without his help. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. I want to give it a good rumple. So you say... I can't such a prude. Alright, anything else we got to deal with here? Raphael. Nope. I think we are good to go. Every substance has been tried and tested by yours truly. Oh, All right. Uh, will you guys let me through? Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. 
Hmm. Let's see. We could go with the investigator Valeria. Yeah. We'll go with that. Investigator Valeria needs me in a lower city of serial killers on the loose. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. Piece of cake. Worms Hot. rot. We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. As he now. The watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Hmm. I can try to attack it. A pleasure to meet you. Could we talk face to face? No need to go straight antagonistic yet. Of course, of course. My steel watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Probably we shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Don't want to bring Carlac here. Hmm. Is this Yeah, this is fine. I don't know. All we can do is be Chamber. Are they going to arrest Let's us? Let's rehearse this one more time. It's a waiting that's hard. If we could just talk to one of the fists, it would be as clear as day that we're not criminals. Okay. Sounds like somebody was in trouble, in trouble. Uh, inside. Civilian. Oh, the house was on fire. Oh, leave it out. I've got a trial coming up, and I need to rememberize my lines. Okay then. Let's rehearse this one more time. Perhaps why not? Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Lord oh. Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the Ms. Dora. Oh, well, hello there. This isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. We're not. Guard is a charlatan, like every last patriarch of this wretched city. All right, what do we got over here? Everything is flagged as stealing, so we'll keep our hands to ourselves for the time being. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your now. What exactly was over? And the other Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way. Something's not right about those steel watchers. I'm telling you. Bloody it's shaking. What oh, uh what are you what are you doing in here? You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket. Hmm. You're not a fist. 
Go on, get out, or I'll... I'll wake the others! Uh, we can try to detect thoughts. Nat 20. Gods. I hope they haven't put up the prices again. That ferry's my last chance out of here. But she's got to have something that'll cover the rest of my fare. Hmm. Go ahead. I'll tell them you're funding a ferry ticket with their stolen belongings. How do you know about that? Did those crooks down the dock send you? I told them I'll get the money in time. Not my fault they're charging triple. Take your money, my ass. What's got them so spooked? You haven't heard. An army is coming. They're saying it's unstoppable. My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. Hmm. Get a grip. You're a soldier. Act like one. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. All right. No need to disturb those who are sleeping. Hmm, what's down here? Ah, it's the prison. Probably don't want to hang out there. Not if we don't have to. Lord all right, we'll go see Gortash's inauguration. It must be exhausting to be so cynical. Not as exhausting as all that boot kissing. Lord Gortash doing. is expecting you. Please make your way. Well, you rolled out the red carpet. Literally. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Point taken. I'll keep things peaceful. The Steel Watch. Appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together 
we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. Hmm. Why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. And whose fault is that? What kind of understanding do you suggest? We're going to play nice for now. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Hmm. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Hmm. What do you propose? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together, we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful. At least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Ma, uh, I'm actually on the same wavelength with you, Asterion. Yes, we'll go with the bar response. We will agree to this. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Hmm... How am I supposed to find Orin if she can change her form so easily? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers. When she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. 
If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Hmm. Surely you're still watching to handle Orin. Why do you need me? Orin is elusive, shall we say. The grip of the steel watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. Some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. You carry the stone plucked from Merkel's chosen. Besides, I'm not ready to call you enemy. At least not yet. Alright, so what was your plan? First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Ketherick Thorpe. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Hmm. And where in the Nine Hells do you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Hmm. I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Alright. Fine. Let's get it over with. You will follow me. And you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. We'll say nothing for now. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. All right, then. And it looks like we also are going to need to chat with Mizora. Let's see what she has to say. Did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. And to think the drama's just started. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. Hmm. That was fast. I thought Gortash would have more use for the Duke and Worms Rock. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something, don't you? I know enough. 
Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Alright, so we got a couple of things to do in camp. Not quite yet. Well, let's head into uh, the lower city. my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Ta-ta. Oh, the devilish ox. Shapeshifter's boon ring. Alright, well I think this is a good place to stop. So we'll start poking around the lower city here when we come back. We have some things to do for Gale. And uh, we got a lot of work to do here. Alright. But for now, we'll stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.